And I should take you guys along with me. What are you doing? Who got a job? Ah, shoot. <laughs> it, was, it was like right here. Like I feel dead out the way. Like I don't have no purpose anymore. I just got the job. I just got offered the position. I've been smiling too hard. My face muscles hurt. But I got a job. I got a job as a retoucher at home. Remotely. Your girl working that. I am working now. Oh, the muscles in my head. Jesus have mercy. Let me stop smiling. I applied for this job a couple weeks ago. And I had to go through two tests to get it. At first, I thought, I thought the guy or the manager kind of blew me off. Because I didn't hear nothing back. I thought I sent over the second test. And now, he just offered me the position working from home doing something that I already do something that I already love at home what do you do ah! <laughs> but I got a job I finally have a job deja vu like this is crazy I actually have a job I haven't worked like an official job in six years. I've been doing like on and off those small gigs in here for like face painting or photography or doing logo design for graphic design, but I never had a consistent job. And this job as easy as retouching that I taught myself that I'm going to get paid to do at home? <laughs> what? Chai. Man, I have a job. Sitting right here working on this computer. Something that I do every single day. But I'm going to get paid consistently with it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this, this is awesome. So I have a meeting probably tomorrow for the onboarding process. I'm not sure to take you guys along with me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, who got a job? Me. Ah, shoot. <laughs> who got a job? That was one of my goals for the past couple years is to get a consistent job. And I wanted a job at home because I have six kids. And it's so hard trying to find something that works with my kids schedule and my schedule so i don't have to go nowhere all i have to do is sit here and it's at my own pace and to me retouching is very easy so i can do that quick it's like a dream job doing something that i love doing something of the arts working on photoshop girl oh <laughs> What it do? She got a job. Yeah, I just really want to share that with y'all. Let me say that again. I really wanted to share that with you guys. And I am really, really happy that I got this thing. Like good things normally don't happen to me. It finally happened today. Alright, y'all. Child bye. Hey guys, I'm going to be doing my onboarding today. Today is Tuesday, 
my order my onboarding is at 12 o'clock so that's like 10 minutes away and I'm not really sure how I should have my um, hair like should I put in a ponytail you think this look decent I'm having a zoom meeting with the manager should I have it up and like inside of a bun I don't know how should I have my hair but I got this crunchy and it's pink or should I just have it down Okay, let's just see how this look. But I'm not feeling the pink scrunchie. I should have like a black scrunchie. Hope you guys can hear me. I mean, it looks clean, but I don't like the, the pink scrunchie at all. I have another one. What you think? Like this? But it don't, I don't look professional. I mean, it's not a professional job, but. Do I, do I look like I'm doing something? I don't know how I should have my hair. I guess it really don't matter. Okay. Like this. I look clean, right? Like I'm ready to work. Like I'm ready to find the information about the company. Even though I already know. Because I looked it up and did my research. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so apparently I am an hour early. Even though the email says my Zoom meeting is at 12 p.m. I think he moved it to like 1 o'clock. So I'll just be back in an hour. I'll be back in an hour. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. I gotta find some way to fix my tripod because it's really loose and this camera is wobbling and I would die if something happens to this expensive camera. I'm in a state of trying to figure things out. I feel like I'm at rock bottom. I have to start over. I need my phone. I need a phone. Like I don't have no motivation to really do anything. I don't feel like my life is structured. I don't feel like it's set. I don't feel like I have anything of my own. It's a lot of things that I have to figure out. I need them. I bought a $200 mic and I don't even use it. I haven't even opened the box yet. So if my, my audio sounds bad, it doesn't matter. I don't even care. I don't even know what the box is for my mic. I'm irritated. I'm angry. Like, I don't know what to do with myself. I feel like there's a, a lot of opportunities out there. A lot of opportunities that I can create, but I feel like I can't touch any of them. And if I touch them, they're not going to last. 
It's just gonna disappear. Like I have my new job now, which is great, but it's still not enough. I'm trying to do my hair. I don't, I don't have no motivation to do my hair, but I just don't want to walk around with my hair being nappy all day and thrown into and thrown into like a bun. I, I don't want that. I needed something done in my hair. I'm trying to put some crochet in it. I did some of it, but I don't like it because I didn't have. I forgot to get the uh, what you call it edge control for my hair to make it more slick. I didn't have that. Honestly, don't know what direction my channel is going. I feel like I just want to run away. I have to clean my kitchen. I haven't cleaned that. I have to get to the kids' uh, clothes. I need to wash clothes. I need to sort clothes. I need to put away clothes. There's so much that I have to do. But I feel like I don't have nothing to do. Like I can list all the things that I need to do right now. But I still feel like I have nothing to do. Like I don't have the will to get up and do it. I'm just trying to figure out my life. The things have changed recently. And I'm just trying to figure out where I'm trying to go, who I'm trying to be. This one is brand new and the other one's old. I think I took like the screw off of the brand new one and tried to put it on the old one for some reason, but it's fixed. I got my crochet here. I ordered this from Amazon. It came with eight for like $30, $30 for eight pack. For eight packs in here. So I want to do a little bit in my hair and I'm hungry. so. I'm not going to do it all right now. And I also found my wireless, um, what you call it? Wireless microphone. So I'm going to do a little bit of my hair. I cannot get this open. You may hear the fire alarm in the background. I did buy some batteries for that, so maybe during this vlog i can probably put the batteries in because hearing the fire alarm in your videos is just very annoying to me you can't stand the sound well oh, dang that's probably why it was so hard for me to not use it before because i couldn't get it open let me get this thing open today <laughs> this gonna have to wait. Do it yet, Mario? What? I was fast. I was fast. I was fast. What? Okay. Mm. What? Uh uh. You <laughs> crazy, Mario. I took a lot of it from where it comes. Oh, who's fake? 
I am so sick of that. I don't know why you guys still talking about the pickles. Mommy, do you like pickles? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, I did that wrong. She like pickles? Mm -hmm. Mommy, this is on the stairs. Right here, it's like really sore. Oh, she has some edge control. This particular, um, this braid right here hurts because it's okay. really close to my edges, and my edges, are, my edges are really sensitive. I haven't drunk not one bit of water today, and it's almost 12 o'clock. I haven't eaten anything, and it's almost 12 o'clock. My lips are dry. All I've been doing is complaining on this vlog. Oh. oh, that hurts. That's why I just wanted to cut my hair off and just go bald. I gotta worry about doing my hair. I realize my mirror is dirty. What kind of bug is this? It was in my room, but I captured it. Mm -hmm. It came from the window, or was it just in your room? It was, it was like right here. I think it came from the window. It ain't open or something. Oh, there's there's ways the bugs get in through that. Can bugs possibly get in here? Yeah. Especially ants. Whoa, what? I had to take a break because I was hungry. I got a party in the front and a person in the back. Yes, but I had chip. I had chick Chick Fil A. No, I had Chipotle uh, last night, and this is my leftovers. Oh, mm. this is so good. My Chick Fil A don't look like <clears throat> look like it do. Um, like the people that I be on social media. It was so good, man. I think I overcooked my tortilla. It don't be the same the second day though. I don't need to eat Chipotle for food that day. Cause it tastes mediocre when you warm it up. The whole Chick-fil-A bowl is like three meals for me. 
I can never sit down and eat the whole thing in one sitting. Hey guys, so as you can see, I um I took my hair out. That was about a week ago. Since you guys saw me. I took my hair out. And I took it back out. I didn't even finish. I didn't finish putting all the weave in my hair at all. Like I just been going through a lot. And also before I even finished the hair, I had to run an errand and realize it was itchy on my back and it was hot. But it's too hot to wear all the hair on my head. So I decided to take it out. And I've just been wearing my hair like this the whole time. And honestly, I just don't feel like wearing my hair in no kind of way. Because a lot has been going on and I just, I don't feel like myself, I would say. Like, I don't feel like I own anything, which I really don't. I don't own nothing. Like, every day I wake up, I say to myself, this again. So I just, I have no will for anything anymore. I have no will for it. My eating has been off. Some days I'll eat a lot and some days I won't eat at all. And I feel physically, I feel really weird. I've been drinking a lot of sodas, eating out a lot. Haven't been cooking as much. Haven't been getting to any of my duties that I'm supposed to do. Like all I do now is just, I just work and when I'm not working, I, I do what, maybe 15 to 20 hours a week working from home. And when I'm done on the computer working, it's like I feel dead out the way. Like I don't have no purpose anymore. And my grandma passed a couple of weeks ago and I was getting through that grief, trying to navigate that grief. I don't own the computer that I'm working on for my job. I don't have a phone. The place that I stay in is not even in my name. I keep telling myself that I'm not depressed because I don't feel sad. Like, I don't feel self-sabotage. Normally when I'm depressed, I want to put myself down. I think about hurting myself, stuff like that, but I, I don't feel like that this time. It's like ever since my grandma passed away, I feel empty. Like I don't have a place where I belong. I feel like I don't have a purpose. Like is this grief or is this depression? I haven't said that word in a long time, but I haven't, I haven't felt like I'm depressed, but I don't have, I feel like I have no love for anything. Nothing excites me anymore. It's like the, couple of things that I really love, things that I really enjoy got taken away from me recently. And there was drama. It's a lot of women that have gone through the same thing that I've gone through who has made it, is making it. They doing it. And they make it look so easy. It feels so impossible for me. Like I don't know where to start. I feel like I'm gonna be stuck in this same situation for the rest of my life and that's not where I wanna be. I don't have my own space. I can't just go to my own room and just lay down in a comfortable bed, sleep on my pillow, and just feel good in my own space. I don't even have that. I feel like I don't even belong where I stay. There's, it seems like there's no room for me here. And I'm overthinking so much right now. I'm overthinking so, so much. I don't have the will to do anything. I don't want to brush my hair. I don't want to put on clothes. I don't want, it's like I don't want to try to live. I do the bare minimum. The bare, bare minimum. I am not in a good place. I don't know how to get back to normal. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm about to go put some clothes on and go visit my dad. 
It's uh, Father's Day today. Today is December, no, it's December. Today is June 16th, Father's Day. So I'm gonna go get dressed, get the kids ready, and we're gonna go and give my dad some of the gifts that they got from their store, some that they made. So I'll just take you guys along with me. So I went by, went by my daddy's house, and he's not there. So we gotta try back again later to catch him. I think he went to the store or something, but I didn't wait around. We'll just come back later. But I do want to um, go ahead and end the vlog here. This is already going to be a very long vlog. So I guess I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Bye.